My name is Katherine Taylor. I'm a fiction writer and I teach short story and novel classes at WritingPad. One common question I get from my students is, how do I find a story that's appropriate for short fiction? Here's the problem. We put too much pressure on ourselves and we don't see the literary possibilities that are right in front of us. So let me tell you a little story. I was trying to come up with something to write about, something to submit. And I'm sitting at the desk, I'm sure this will sound familiar to you, as I often do, and unable to come up with any story I wanted to tell. The stories we tell all the time are the stories we should be writing. There's a story I would always tell at dinner parties about a road trip that I took with my mother. I would tell it with my mother sitting right there. She kind of loved it because it was told with affection and, um, and the story would evolve every time I told it to the point where my mother and I became these characters. There are built-in elements with a story you know well. You have the characters. In this story, there was a contained period of time. It had a clear beginning, middle, and end because those are the parameters of a road trip. I knew it very well and it I knew it resonated because the response I would get regularly when I recounted it was very positive. I'm excited by the story, so it had a natural energy to it. So I took this story and I used it as the spine. It takes place over a, a week and it's very easy to transcribe a story with a limited time frame. I was able then to go back and revise and layer in the introspection that the story needed, the elements that weren't so performative, that were a little more intimate. Of course, it's all in my own voice. It's a story I'm very familiar with. So here's an exercise. Write a list of stories that you love to tell your friends and family, stories that you tell all the time, the stories you tell at dinner parties or uh, when you're on a hike with your friend. Pick the one that you get most excited about. Record that story on your phone. Transcribe it. Now go back to revise and use all your fictional tools to take that story to the next level. Clarify the characters, amp up the stakes, break down the story into scenes. Allow the story to unfold in action and dialogue and a little bit of analysis. You don't have to write autobiographical fiction, but the emotional honesty and the human experience have to be there. Vampires can go on mother-daughter road trips. So can teenage girls. Mother-daughter road trips can take place in the future or in a dystopian society. Voila, you have the beginning of your short story. Thank you very much and I hope to see you in class.